okay multi threading series part 3 in this video we will see how we can fix the release condition issue using atomic integer in last video we saw how we fixed it using synchronized block in this video we will use the atomic integer to fix the issue so first is we have to convert this int data type into the atomic integer now as i have converted the int type into the atomic integer we notice that we have multiple methods attached to this count the first is increment and get get and increment get add and get so there are multiple you know, methods that are available so we just want to increment this count value at any point in time whenever thread is basically accessing this increment method so we can use this increment and get method this basically increment the value and returns the latest value we have another get and increment also so in this one the first is uh, it uh, increment the value and returns the previous uh, value that we have so we will use here increment and get method now it is thread safe we just have to remove the synchronized block it is not required now and atomic integer basically internally uses cpu's low level instructions like compare and swap what compare and swap basically does is it uh, basically checks if the previous value and the existent value is same if so it will basically update the value atomically okay so now if the values are not same then it will again retries the same mechanism this way we don't require any lock in this particular mechanism and it will basically thread safe as well so when we try to run the same code it should work perfectly fine so you can play around with all the different methods that are available with this atomic integer and this way also we can fix the issue this atomic integer is basically more uh, faster compared with the synchronized as in we are not using any lock in this one so in the next video we will see how we can use re-entrant lock to fix the race condition issue